So you're working on a new essay. Yes. Again, tackling the subject that we tackle all the time on the site. How to orgasm. I'm not having an orgasm. So a young woman will write in, describe the build-up to an orgasm, say that sex feels great, she's I masturbating. I can't have an orgasm. Because she gets to a peak. That's the word they use. I get to a peak and then nothing happens. It goes away. Yeah. And that little peak, no, it get it, it. she feels it coming up and then it goes away. It never peaks. No, it's, she's right in front of it and then it goes away. So here, this is a beginning orgasm. If we could just understand, and you're the one that always says this, and I put it in the essay. Oh, really? Yeah. For any discipline, you have to crawl, walk, walk run, run, and then you might be able to do ballroom dancing or the tango. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, but we want to just yeah. run. We want to go right to those huge orgasms. Exactly. Multiple orgasms. Exactly. On demand. <laughs> I practically passed out kind of thing. And that may or may never happen, but mm -hmm. the point is, is that we can't hold an expectation for anything. And you said something that was really important, that when you're stimulating your body or someone else's, if you're doing this self-observation, you're going, what is that? Oh, my God, is that an orgasm? Am I almost there? I, I think that, that was, am I getting close? What is that? You're in your head. You're going to kill anything. And we've all done it. I've done it. <laughs> we are sitting there like, how long has he been down there? How long have I been doing this? Should I have an orgasm already? Why is this taking so long? <laughs> now, if it's, in, if it's in the early stages, what is he thinking? I wonder how I look. Do I sound yeah, strange? Yeah. Should, you know, then it's, it's the self-critic criticism. It's just something. We have to figure out a way to distract ourselves and not think. Hmm. Now, could it be a dirty fantasy, Aunt B? Bingo. <laughs> you move to the head of the class. <laughs> Exactly. And I, you can think about anything. I just wrote one out. The one I wrote out is, of course, with me, it's always gang bangs and dogs uh, yeah, yeah. and, you know, dirty Gross stuff. <laughs> so instead of, you know, so she could think that she, her boyfriend set it up so that four of his friends are watching. Well, they're going to watch, but they're also going to fuck her and they're going to tie her down. Ooh, oh, so no. she's helpless. Taboo. <laughs> <laughs> and they put butter on her, on her clit and the that's the dog lick it off for oh, her. And she better not orgasm because that's disgusting to or orgasm like, from an animal. She might have one right then. And then they take turns fucking her. It's pretty dirty. And it, it, get this, as I'm writing it, I'm going, Ooh. Oh. <laughs> well done. I think I have to take an <laughs> orgasm break. <laughs> Thank you, goddess. I mean, you know, if I let can, your can, mind go, and there are no wrong fantasies. Yeah, yeah. And you made another important point that I want to get to. You said also she was saying how her boyfriend is having this great time, and then he works up and he has this huge orgasm, this huge response. And male orgasm is very dramatic. You said you can't compare your response to their response. Well, it's a different kind of activity, but here's mm -hmm. what it is: she's lying there, not doing anything, because she's in her head. Yeah, she's not touching her clit. <laughs> if if you're in your body, women will be moving as much. You're moving much your as, hips, you're breathing, you're as grinding. As much as men. And we will have that, oh, it, you know, mm -hmm. I used to break a sweat. Always, always sweaty during sex. If you're not sweaty, you didn't, it, it wasn't sex. <laughs> you know what I mean? So she's lying there in her head, waiting, watching, observing. And I know, mm -hmm. I, I remember going through that of phase. Well, because you don't even know how to move, and you don't want to be judged for moving, and you have no image. When we watch pornography, there's no image of a woman who's meeting that energy. They don't show many women on top. Yeah, and they don't show women grinding. I mean, when I have sex, I feel it the next day in every muscle group. My arms, my yes, legs, yes. my ass, yes. right? my core. Yeah. I think that's what's great about sex. It's a workout. Mm. But if you're just lying there, I wonder if I'm getting close. Is this getting, is this it? I don't think this is right. There's, I'm not doing no. something wrong. I'm not really. You're dirty. sucking all the fun out. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very fun. No. So focus on some kind of a really dirty fantasy. The, I mean, or, or a romantic fantasy. One woman Whatever asked, works. Yeah, you know, she said, you know what I really want to think? And I said, what? She said, I want to just think about food. I like to plan mm. my favorite menu. Mm. And go for it. That's sexy. There's sex all around us. It doesn't have to be just 
fucking or doesn't other people. Have to be about, or, you know, like my dirty fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a romantic fantasy. You know, the other day I had an orgasm, and it's my big orgasms start in the soles of my feet. They get hot, and then it travels up my legs, and then I come, and then it kind of goes out of my head and release. And I do the same thing. I try to replicate it, nope. and it only happens a couple of times a year, you know, but what I have to do is I keep myself open to receive whatever orgasm comes my way. Yep. I don't try to... to categorize them and judge them and rank them. And there's going to be like a range. You're going to have the little blips that don't knock them. No, they're great. And the the mid, the mid ones, the middle ones where it's yeah. like, oh, it's good. And then you have the... Look. And this one was out of nowhere. I did not think. You know, I was having adequate clitoral stimulation, but I didn't think it was the kind of thing that was going to send me over the edge. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> they're just I've said this so many times because I went through so many periods where I was self-observing because after all I was going to teach so I had to know what was going on <laughs> and at one point I thought wow it's the orgasm is the perfect metaphor for life mm -hmm. you can't anticipate you can't direct you cannot be sure you cannot control expect you can't control no. expectations you have to be open open to receive now that's pretty spiritual it's very spiritual you got it without any of the religious trappings just be open to the experience don't have a concept in your mind it was the same thing with painting i could have some idea of what i wanted to do but when i got into the act I had to see what was coming out, mm -hmm. what was showing up on the canvas. And that's why it's so frustrating when you grew up in a puritanical <laughs> culture <laughs> that's just like, we will work, we will do it, we will make it happen. This way. And there's one right way. There's one right way. No, 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 no. There's a million, million mm -hmm. ways. So do not judge. It's a little observation is inevitable, but trust, I think, is the word. Trust. I think you're right. This is all about trust. This is all about trust. Trust your body. Trust your body. And so you get into your head with the fantasy so it'll leave your body alone. And then you have whatever happens in your body. So go try it.